He saw it coming is the first record from Jack Russell's Great White, and I've been waiting for this to come out since I started this band. Um, it is truly a, an amazing collection of songs. This was the first time I've really ever had a chance to completely let go. And on the songs that are autobiographical, it was the deepest I've ever went about some serious subjects, but it's a fun, fun record. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about the band. Um, Robbie Lochner, a greatly guitar player. Um, it was like peas and carrots when we got together. Um, great songwriter, great guy. Um, one of my dear friends has become over the years, and uh, we're, we were a powerful writing team, and um, he's an amazing guitar player. The recording process of this record was a little bit different because uh, we recorded this in my studio, so I was engineering, um, I was writing, I was playing, and I was producing. So it was a little uh, different approach when you're wearing uh, multiple hats. Ultimately, it was really pretty cool because, you know, when I'd sit back and listen, the music would tell me what it needed, um, and I just needed to lay back. But it did, it did push me and take me out of my comfort zone at times. Dickie Fleezar on the drum kit. Um, this guy's a powerhouse. I love him, man. He's Mr. Meter. He's from Germany, which makes him very German-esque, you know what I mean? Um, he's a, just a master of the drum kit um, and, and a, also a great guy. We've been playing together for three years and by this time we've gotten really pretty tight. We've, we've played already almost 200 shows in this time. And um, so this is a great way to show off the you know, the musical skills, I guess, in the band, and just that we're tight as a unit, which I think is really pretty clear when you listen to that album. Dan McNay on the bass. To be a bass player, you have to be kind of special, I've always believed, because you gotta write notes that weave through what I'm singing, what the guitar is doing, and it takes a special talent. This guy is the best of them. The first track I did was crazy and I went over to Robbie's and uh, dug in, Jack was there. They just wanted to kind of have me uh, play some bass and track the song. And then after that they gave me carte blanche basically to take things back to my studio. They started sending me tracks over to my studio which I promptly started digging into every song trying to find the perfect bass lines. Last but not least Mr. Tony Montana. Um, perhaps um, some of you know him from the past when he was playing with me before in another band. Um, great guitarist. He used to play bass for me. Great guitarist. Um, so he's playing guitar now and keyboards and he's a great guy, great guitar player, um, wonderful human being. It's, it's great to have him, have him home. Uh, yeah, I started uh, at Mount Jack in 1986 when I tried out for the band. Got introduced to the band from a mutual friend, a guy named Stephen Williams that wrote Save Your Love with Jack. And uh, he was uh, working in the same music store I was teaching at at the time. I was with Jack in Great White for a little over five years, very productive uh, five years. The album uh, he saw it coming, I think is, uh, uh, is kind of a, a document of uh, Jack's uh, you know past several years and what he's seen and what he's done and it's uh, it's been quite an undertaking. It's sign of the times. Yeah, that's uh, that's our first single. And it's uh, very, very representative of the song. The song itself is about, you know, how uh, the world's so technologyed out. I mean, I'm like Mr. Anti-Technology. I do my lyrics on a stone tablet and a chisel. You know what I mean? That's how uh, non-technology I am. But the world has changed and it's going so fast. Um, you know, for me, the internet and all that stuff, you know I mean? Of course, everybody loves it. And, and it's a great tool for information, blah, 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 blah. As far as I'm concerned, it ruined music, you know? So you've totally lost the art of conversation. You don't call people, you text them. 
or you don't answer the phone when it rings and you go text them back busy call you later so you can totally avoid everybody and you can be all alone in your own little head with your little device it is so cruel you know kids don't go out and play anymore they have toys they're all techno toys you know they don't build forts they don't have dirt clawed fights I don't know man there you go that's the sign of time I know for sure um, I was pushing him to new boundaries which for me personally he you know he needed to go there because um, he could regurgitate the same old stuff all day long we could do that but what's the point um, the, really the point is to grow and to move forward it is Jack Russell's great white so because of that we are forming and forging our own thing and um, you know I hopefully people will appreciate it uh, there's a lot of really good music on there very eclectic um, from song to song you'll listen to one song go the next song sounds nothing like the song before and they're all really good uh, I really am enjoying playing with uh, this lineup of the band um, love love Dan and Dickie and, and, and Robbie and uh, I think we're a good cohesive unit and um, uh, no matter what gets thrown at us out there on the road and, and uh, there are a lot of inconsistencies out there but we seem to always smooth, smooth them over and uh, try to deliver a good show so I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to that in 2017 for sure. I'm